Hi, I'm Brian Dial, St. Tammany Parish Public School System PE teacher. And today, for our lesson, I'd like to just teach you a few simple body weight exercises so that you can get a total body workout in your own home without any equipment. Now, I'm going to teach you a lower body, a core, and an upper body exercise, and then a variation of each one so that you can experiment to see which one fits your level of fitness best. When we're talking about personal fitness, remember, only you matter. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Just work on making yourself better. Our first Every exercise day. is going to be the goblet squat. The goblet squat's named that because we're going to be holding our hand like we're holding a goblet or a cup. I like to teach the goblet squat so that we learn to keep our body in an upright position because you don't want to spill the water out of the goblet. So the first thing you do is you stand about shoulder width apart. Your toes can either point straight forward or outward a little bit. Imagine if it's a clock, instead of having your toes on the 12s, have them point one at the 11 and one at the one o'clock, so your feet are pointed out a little bit. And if you're taller, your feet might be a little wider than shoulder width. Find what's comfortable for you. Now we're gonna hold our hands like a goblet, like we're holding a cup of water so we don't spill it. And then we're gonna slowly bend our knees until our tops of our legs are parallel with the floor. If we can get that low while keeping our feet flat. If not, bend your knees as far as you can go while keeping your feet flat and your back straight. Let's watch right here, going down nice and slow. Nice and slow. Let's look from the side. You'll see the key to the goblet squat is that the very first movement your hip makes is backwards. You don't go down first, it's back. Watch my hip right here. The very first thing it's gonna do as I start is go backward and then down. Backward and then down. That's the goblet squat. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands holding your goblet so we don't spill the water. Toes straight forward or pointed out a little bit. Slowly bend your knees so that you can keep your feet flat and go down to the top of your legs are parallel with the floor. Another variation of a lower body exercise is the split squat. In the split squat, we're gonna be working one leg at a time, so it's a little bit tougher. You need to stand so that your feet are on what we call different train tracks. Your feet are not behind each other. One of them is on this side of an imaginary line, the other one is on the other side of the imaginary line. They're both still about shoulder width apart, maybe a little more narrow. Your back foot is gonna be up on its toe. Your front foot stays flat, and the secret to the split squat is that we go straight down. We're not gonna drive our front knee forward, we're gonna drive our hips straight down so that our back knee gets close to the ground, like this. Down, and then up. Down, and then up. Let's watch from the side. You'll see again, this time my hip goes straight down. I've already opened it up by stepping backwards. Down, and then up. Down. Notice this front knee is not going forward. It's staying straight over its ankle. That's the split squat. That's a little tougher variation of a lower body exercise. Now we're going to move to the upper body. First upper body exercise I'm going to teach you is the push-up. It's important to remember three things when we're doing our basic push-up. First, your hand should be under your shoulders and a little wider than shoulder width. We don't want our hands way out in front of our body. We don't want our hands behind our shoulders. Second, we want to keep a nice straight line from the head through the neck through the shoulders, our torso, through our hips, through our legs, through our knees, and our ankles of our body. Nice straight line. We don't want our back to arch up like a teepee. We don't want our back to be curved like a seal. Third, we need to raise and lower our body like an elevator as one unit. We don't want part of the elevator to go up while the other part of the elevator stays down. Let's watch and see. Hands underneath your shoulders, eyes looking straight down at the ground in between your hands. Don't look at your toes, that'll make your back arch up. And we just slowly lower and raise, one unit, nice and smooth. 
nice and smooth. That was our basic push-up. Now, if you're not able to do a basic push-up, one modification you can do is called the negative push-up. With the negative push-up, we're only working on the lowering. Everything else stays the same. So we're going to get our hands under our shoulders, get our good straight line, and then we're just going to slowly bend our arms, go down, and when we can't hold it anymore, just relax. Then get back up to our position, slowly bend our elbows, and when we get down, just relax, and get back up to our position. Using the negative push-up allows you to work out at your level of fitness. One more modification you can do if you're not able to perform the basic push-up is what we call a knee push-up. When we do a knee push-up, we still want to keep our straight line from our head through our shoulders, our body, to our hips, to our knees. But we're going to take our feet up off the ground to make ourselves a little lighter and able to handle the weight. So here, I will get in my knee push-up position. Notice there's still a straight line. And then I just bend and straight, And bend and straight. Nice, easy elbow movements. Notice my whole body moves like a teeter-totter. That's the knee push-up. Now let's move to the core. The first exercise I'm going to teach you is called the plank. Just like a plank of wood, our objective is to keep our body perfectly straight. We're going to support our weight with our forearms and our toes. Everything else is being held off of the ground using our core muscles. We want to keep our eyes looking straight down at the ground, not up and not down at your toes, because that's going to cause our plank to have a curve to it. Let's hold this for about 10 seconds. We're going to start. Let's put my forearms on the ground, toes on the ground, nice and tight. Two, three, four, five, hold it. Six, good. Eight, nine, 10. The plank is a simple exercise, but if you start to hold it for longer and longer periods of time, you're definitely going to feel it in your core. Our last exercise I'm going to teach you is the Superman. In Superman, we're going to use our core and a little bit of our upper back to pull our arms and legs up off of the ground. First thing I'm going to do is lay here on my belly, arms outstretched, feet outstretched, just like I was flying, and then I'm going to use my upper back and core muscles to pull my hands and feet off the ground, hold it, four, five, relax, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, relax, two, three, four. That's the Superman. Now we're going to put it all together in a total body workout. We're going to use a descending pyramid rep scheme, which means we're going to do four of each exercise, then three, then two, then one, so it's going to get a little bit easier each time. You guys ready to go? All right, you can choose whichever of the exercise that you like. I'm going to go ahead and choose whichever ones I like and follow along. Let's start with our lower body. Four lower body. You're going to do split squat, alternate. Ready? And let's go. Four, three, two, one. Now upper body, push-ups, four, three, two, one. Now let's do Superman. If you choose plank, just hold it for 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now we're back up. Goblet squats again. Remember, feet shoulder width. Hold the water, hips back first. Three, two, one. Now we'll go ahead and do our negative. 
three, two, one. You do some more Superman. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead. We'll split squat now. Push up coming. One, two. Go ahead and hold our plank now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last round. Come on, you can do it. Great job! Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our fitness lesson and remember to watch more videos like this so we can all keep learning together. Lessons like this can be seen daily on the St. Tammany Parish television channel or on the school board website. Have a great day!